simple pendulum. We consider the pendulum of the figure and uh, in this uh, pendulum there is uh, one input which corresponds to the torque U exerted on the pendulum around its axis. Uh, the output is Y, so it is the distance between uh, the vertical axis and uh, the mass, uh, the mass uh, at the extremity of, uh, of the rod. We have to, to determine first the state equation of this system using the, the Newton law. Then in the second question we'll have to express uh, the mechanical energy and to show that it is uh, constant when u equal to zero. This is uh, my pendulum and we can see that there is a one degree of freedom which is q. As a consequence uh, the state could be the degree of freedom and its derivative, q dot. We can understand that if u equal to zero, for instance, if we know u, and if at time t we know q and q dot, so the position of the pendulum and also its speed, then we can guess, using the physical rule, we can guess the future of the pendulum. This is why it is a state. So we'll check this and we'll answer to the first question. We have to apply the fundamental principle of dynamics from Newton and from this we know that uh, we have one force which corresponds to uh, mg. As a consequence it, uh, uh, it will uh, exert a, a momentum on the term pendulum which will make it turn so here it will be a negative, since uh, in the figure when Q is positive then the force in uh, the torque is on this direction. This is why I can write minus, so the momentum is proportional to L, proportional to the force, so MJ, and also uh, proportional to the sine of Q. So sine of Q. So it corresponds to this torque. And now there is another torque which corresponds to U, which is positive here, plus U, equal to the inertia J multiplied by the acceleration of Q. So Q dot dot. So in uh, our example, since all the mass is at the extremity of the road, we have J equal M times L2. So as a consequence, if I isolate this one, I will have Q dot dot equal to U minus L M J sine Q divided by m l square. So now since we have taken the state q q dot, we can write that the derivative of the state, so the state is q q dot, so this one is would correspond to, uh, to q dot. And this one will correspond to U minus M L J sine Q divided by M L square. So recall that here I can only have in this expression the state, so Q, Q dot, and U. Okay. So if I rename this one by x1 and this one by x2 here. So this one will correspond to x2. Since here I will only be allowed to have x1, x2 and u. So here q will correspond to x1 and as a consequence I will have 
the state equation x dot 1 equal to x2 and x dot 2 equal to u minus l m j sine of x1 divided by m l square and also since y have to ex be expressed as a function of the state I can see here that I have uh, y is proportional to the sine of q so sine of x1 and also to l so we can see that I have something of the form x dot equal f of xu so this corresponds to f of xu and y equal to j of x so it corresponds to a, a state equation now for the second question I have to express the mechanical energy in function of the state of the system and then to show that it remains constant when u is nil. So second question, the mechanical energy of the pendulum is equal to I m equal, so it, it corresponds to the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy. So the kinetic energy is directly directed to Q dot and it will be half of ML2 Q dot 2 and the potential energy uh, will correspond so I will take here that uh, if Q equals 0 so when the pendulum is here I will consider that the potential energy is equal to zero. So now that I can, I can have chosen another reference. Uh, so here I will have uh, uh, m j l multiplied by one minus cos of q. Okay, and uh, now I, I can take my state equation since I have an expression of q dot and uh, I will know that uh, so first I will compute the derivative to show that the uh, mechanical energy is constant so here I will get half of m l square so this one will correspond to 2 q dot q dot dot plus, and this one will correspond to m j l q dot sine of q. Now, from my state equation, I know that q dot dot, uh, q dot dot is given here. So I have an expression here. And I know that in my situation, u equal to zero. So from this, I know that the Q here and here will simplify and I will have ML2 multiplied by Q dot and as seen previously, Q dot dot is equal to so multiplied by minus LMJ sine of Q divided by m l 2 and here plus m j l q dot sine of q so what I have done here is I have written this quantity as a function of the state and the state is q and q dot and when I write this since I have the state this writing is unique it is not the case if I am allowed to put other things that are not the states, of for, such as, for instance, q dot dot. And this simplify 
and I can see that I have this is equal to zero. Okay, so what I have proved here is that uh, the mechanical energy of the pendulum remains constant, uh, which is consistent with the fact uh, that uh, the pendulum uh, without friction is a conservative system. And for such kind of system, there is also a possibility to find more quickly uh, the state equation is to use, for instance, the Hamiltonian method. 